All right, let's get started. We are going to adding a cylinder to start with. Shift A to adding a mesh, and come down here to the cylinder. Let's go with that, and then we're gonna quickly come to this menu, and we're gonna change to uh, 16. 32 is too much, so I usually go with uh, 16. That should be good. The depth, well, I can just do maybe four yeah, to start with, and then I think that is all good. And then we're going to hit. R key to rotate it while you are holding control key then we can rotate 90 degrees and once have that finished shift D to duplicate it hit R to rotate back on uh, this one so hit G Z so I'm going to uh, merge these two together and but before that I want to fix this uh, you know top lens so hit G Z to kind of make it shorter I think that should be fine. And then you notice uh, when we're trying to creating some shapes, sometimes or some mesh, you automatically well feels like well this make a lot of sense when you doing boolean operation because you obviously can see this the ma uh, the model we are going to create or made from a two cylinder put them together. So I know a lot of people hate the boolean modifier or hating boolean operations because they need a fixed topology. However, our practice for this kind of like a case study, we are trying to having the mindset of understanding typology and then when we're running Boolean operation, then will be much easier to fix and because we're, we know what we're doing instead of getting things done and uh, fix typology for no reason. So, so now when we working these two together, Couple things I want you guys to pay attention. So I know these two vertices, these two cylinders are the exactly vertices edges. So is which is a good thing. So you, usually when you merge something together using boolean, you want to having similar uh, amount of a geometry to work with. You don't want to have one with a very dense uh, geometry. The other one was not enough geometry so you want to have relatively similar so that is the rule number one the rule number two is that when you positioning the mesh you try to think about it where it's going to generate new vertices and when once it has been finished and how are you going to be able to fix a topology and you need to find a better or easier solution to help you to quickly get the things going so that is the rule uh, number two so for this so we can definitely see we can just kind of move things around if we come here to push this we are going to generating all these vertices up here and especially these two are exactly the same size ratio so we're actually just going to automatically generating a vertices directly uh, across which is a good thing and the reason we need to pay attention on this is because if i'm shrink this thing down right and then once we touch this uh, after the boolean this is going to be a new vertices right and then in order to support this shape we need to have uh, a vertices or edge directly come to here to this edge however the reason we are having a pretty good circle or curvatures on the side is because all these is vertices has already evenly distributed so if we adding more so which means it's going to ruin the shape of this round uh, circle or curve so that's something we don't want uh, which means when you actually merge these two mesh together you want to save uh, opportunity to not generating more uh, edges directly linked to this curve so this is the rule number two we want to avoid that so alt z to kind of get it back because these two are exactly same size so you can see these vertices can be you know directly just kind of touch each other however in here we are going to maybe generating a couple of new vertices down here uh, but we can definitely fix that but let's select that hit g and z to just move up to as much as you possibly can because if we are just gonna hit g and z to come down here it's going to generating like two vertices okay so i prefer to directly just generating a little more gz to kind of drag it up to generating more vertices and then i can fix that merge them together instead of less okay so i'm just going to to go to the front view gz to make a little bit uh, exaggerated so you will know what i mean so you can see this 
this is actually poke through over here. But it's all good, so I'm going to just do that. It will start with operation like this. So let's see that. Select the bottom uh, cylinder. Let's go to the modifier stack, and then we'll come here for the Boolean. And then this time we're going to select Union, and using the sample dropper to select the top part, and then I'm going to apply the Boolean modifier. Now you can see the shading looks a little bit weird simply because um, once you did Boolean operation, this thing is going to generate a new mesh. So that's why we have additional uh, mesh already generated over here. So we just need to simply hide it, the one that we don't need to use. So this is the one we, we don't have anymore. So now we can start working on this and start fixing the geometry. Okay, you see the blender is so smart. It directly generating some vertices and at the same time the link to the side in order to support that loop, uh, edge or the shape. So all we need to do now simply because we just need don't need these vertices, we can just hit X to delete the vertices. Now you can see, well, this thing face has been uh, deleted as well. So another way we can do is X and to dissolve the vertices. So now this is perfect. Right, and also this is only one vertice here. Is we call this as pole because uh, because this vertice is linked to uh, several different edges, and usually the vertices usually just linked to four vertices. That is the regular one, but this one is the pole. However, this is the, the straight on one, so I think leave it uh, like this is perfectly fine. All right, so now we are going to start. To working on how to fix this uh, mesh. Let's select that to dissolve these as well. Uh, now this looks pretty good and I think we can actually just adding a loop cut to to support this one and then hit Control R to do that. Then we cut it through here and then we just need to join that. Hit J to join it. J to join it. So now we already can see this is pretty easy to to fix and then if I adding a subsurface modifier, it's obviously it's going to destroy the shape that we were trying to create uh, to have. Uh, but that is the very typical thing because we haven't done anything for the bevel to maintain the sharp edge. Okay, so that would be something that we will certainly do. Let's go to the edit mode and I wanted to start working on using some mirror modifier to getting things easier to manage. So I'm going to uh, select the top vertices to hit J to join that. For whatever reason, hit this one, this one, hit J, and have that. And then go to the side view, Alt to Z, actuary mode, just select one part, hit X to delete vertices. And I can use a mirror modifier and go with that. Okay, so now this is still this maintaining the shape, but we are using mirror modifier to getting everything much easier to manage, okay? Uh, and then next, uh, because with the shape we want to create, we need having a plane in the back. So I'm just going to actually can delete a little more uh, side of it because we can just working on one quarter of this shape, right? So we can just hit X key to delete vertices on this side, and then I can even just adding another another one up here and make sure you having the clipping checked. So if I'm going to select the one vertices, you can see that everything is can be merged. So um, that is pretty easy to do. Okay. And now this one is kind of have a little bit open. So I'm just going to select this hit G X to move it. And now it's all good. This time we're going to creating some shapes in the back as well, not just directly having this uh, like a cross or like a T uh, of, of shape. So what we need to do here, we can just to deselect this top part, uh, the, the other side, we're just going to start working on this side. Now we are going to generating some mesh or shape over here. However, if I select these three vertices, I hit F key, it's only generating a triangle. It doesn't going to give you the fill on there. I'm going to select the top vertices, hit the E key, just extrude this single vertices, hit X key to come up here, and then uh, almost align to this one. That is, it doesn't really matter that much. Now we can just select these four vertices, hit F key to generating 
a you know a shape to helping out with the, the the geometry that we want to create now if we're selecting everything over here and then i can hit g z to just drag it up same thing over here select on this side this time i can making sure this vertices align with all that so hit s x zero and flatten it out you know and g x so i can just do this so see this is the, the shape that we want to create all right so now what i can do here i'm going to select this one this one this one and that one the lower part on this side so let's go back so e y come here now we have creating a shape like this and uh, hit f key we can just fill that however we don't have a uh, side uh, of a volume over here so we are going to fix that real quick okay so i'm going to select these two vertices go to top view hit the e x just drag over here because we have the clipping on so it's automatically snap onto it okay and then i'm going to select all that and hit the f key to fill that so basically that is all good i go to the side view again select all these vertices and hit the F key to fill that. I know everything is not in quad yet, but we already got the shape that we want to create. The next steps, we're going to fix topologies, making everything nice and smooth, okay? So cool, that is all good. Uh, obviously, you see we are going to need some support loops on here, these sharp edges. So what I can do here now, I can just try to see if Blender can automatically help me with that. So I'm going to go to the edge selection mode, hit select sharp edges, select sharp edges, and to see if I can directly do so. Okay, so when I actually having this, and this one need to be selected as well. Um, other than that, I think that is all good. So what I can do here, I can just uh, also this edge. Okay, and then what I can do here, I'm just going to hit control B to bevel it. And for some reason that uh, I already select this edge and you saw it, but it didn't uh, work in the, 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 the bevel operation didn't work. So this is something going wrong. So I want to take a look at Alt Z to see if there's anything wrong with this. Um, not really. Uh, and then I'm going to select all the vertices, hit A, hit M key to merge by distance. I uh, removed one vertices. I don't know which part is it. Probably something around here. Okay, now let's go to the select uh, select sharp edges and let's see if this is all the edges that we want to select. Oh, this one I need to add it on. And anything else? The sharp edge. I think that is all the sharp edges that we want to start with. So let's do Control B to bevel it. And change to number two. And then the segments are going to be two segment and also making sure that you grab the shape to one and then select this to arc. So that is my default setting. So then let's go to the vertices selection mode. We're going to fix some topology. Select that, very typical. And this is big angles. So and now it's two quads. Okay, so this one definitely a big. Uh, ungong, so we are going to fix that real quick. If you want to fix this ungong, you can basically just adding some in the cut, right? Hit that, cut, and one more, cut. So this is like a four vertices quad. This is quad. This is a quad. So it's all good. Everything is in quad up top here. Uh, then we can come down to this side for this big ungong. We can certainly fix topology as well. Gonna hit K key to hit knife, select that. Hit the A key to straight that. And we can even just come down here to make it like cutting through. And once we're generating this vertices, I can select these two, hit J to join that to fix this ungong. Same thing over here. Uh, I think we can just do select these two vertices, hit J to join that, and these two. J to join that and this is a quad as well so it looks like everything looks just fine to me and then what I can do here 
is going to adding some support loop to getting this shape. So before we do that, we can right now, I think we can directly try to adding a subservice modifier control two to add that. That looks all right. Right click shape smooth. And certainly this one has a lot of attention in here. So this is something that we need to change or at least to fix this. So this one, uh, double G to kind of grab it. I, it feels like double G to grab it. Can I see this? Yeah. And hit A key, merge by distance. Is that better? Oh, I think it's much better. Then we're going to go here and adding a loop cut, control art, adding loop cut, slide over here and uh, to join these two words, hit J to join that. So that is all good. So by now, that looks like a shading looks just fine to me and everything looks very beautiful. And in order to having a little bit better or even a uh, grid look, so I'm going to adding some support loop. Okay. Control Art, adding a support loop and uh, scroll your meter wheels and that. Control R, do that. I think two should be fine. And this is all good. Now, the last thing, we're just going to kind of getting everything fixed in the back. Uh, so let's go to the back. Hit the K key, select that, hit A, just do some cut, okay? Mm, this is pretty simple to fix. I already cut through over here and this one needs to have a um, actually a vertices going through here. Uh, there's a couple ways to do, do, do so. I can easily just adding a another loop cut over here if I want to to getting things over here to help out or I can basically just to merge this one. Hit J to join that. I know it's a triangle and I can hit uh, R key. Uh, I can hit control R key to adding a loop cut to getting this thing done. Simply because this is a flat surface in the back. Uh, it doesn't have to be that super beautiful, but I can uh, using a very simple trick to fix this topology perfectly. So you wouldn't be able to really to see too much on the back because when you're doing rendering, this is just a flat surface. You won't see any different. So I think this is my way to solving this issue. Okay. Now next I'm going to do a quick check. Okay. So let's go to the face selection mode, select and select by trade face by side. Uh, equal to four, seems like everything is equal to four then instead of this one. What about the five? So this is a five and gone. Any triangles? Do you have any triangle? No. So all we need to do is to fix this and gone. So let's go here. I don't know why this is and gone. Now let's see if there's anything. Okay, so it is an and gone. Uh, basically, right here, we have something going on here. So what we can do here, uh, because we already have this one, so we can just simply join this two vertices to adding a line, hit J to join that. And then I'm just going to dissolve these two edges this time. X, dissolve edges. So now this should be fine. The, I know this looks like triangle, but this is actually a quad. So seems like it's all good. All right, so let me double check with that. This time I'm going to go to the quick favorite because I already adding the uh, face by size. So I'm select this. So seems like uh, everything has been properly done. I don't know why this thing doesn't look that good. Uh, probably the orientation face orientation is not right. So I go to here to check that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I feel like this is a, a good practice and that we have done it uh, properly. So I think we can just stop right here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this type of a modeling practice uh, with Blender, please hit like and uh, share or subscribe to my channel for sure. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.